Ninja Assault was one of the light gun games released by Namco on the Sega Naomi. Let's check some of its components. So major components aren't so different, you just really have a light gun assembly and a start switch. And like any light gun game, you need to calibrate the hardware so that you can get the correct aim for the gun. And we'll show how to do this in the emulator. Back in LaunchBox, I've already added a game. A separate tutorial will be linked in the description below. So let's open Flycast, right click, open Flycast, go to settings, go to controls. Now everything in this page will be your global settings. And what you want to do is set device A to light gun and make sure that your crosshair is ticked. For keyboard, let's go to mapping, arcade controls, and here I don't have anything mapped because I use my gamepad and my mouse and fight stick. So I only use the keyboard for machine related functions or emulator related functions. And this is what I have in my mappings. You can pause the screen so you can copy these settings. After that, done. So that's saved in the global settings. Let's go to the mouse. The mouse by default will have this configuration. So button one, button two is left click, right click, and the middle click is usually the start button. So here you don't need to do anything much. Click done and done. For most games, that would have worked out of the box, but for some third party developers like Namco, they implemented their software a bit differently. So using the global settings won't be enough. Let's search for Ninja. And we can launch the game from here. If you follow the settings earlier, we can press backspace. And that brings up the emulator menu. Here, we go into settings. And this would be the game specific setting. From here, we can go to controls. And you will notice the make game config button. So until we click that button, Flycast will assume your global settings. And every time we click that, it will create a new config file in your data folder. So here we want to use the global settings, which we set earlier as the light gun, and we're not going to change that. However, when we go into the specific game setting of the keyboard, Let's go to Map, Arcade Controls, and here we actually want to make a specific configuration. That's where we click the Make Game Config. And here we need to map the up and down buttons. So that's the up arrow and the down arrow. And for your trigger, we don't need to map it because it will be on the mouse. But the enter button, we need to map that. So it's going to be map. And just for this specific game only, it will be the return key, which removes the mapping for this. But we will configure that with the mouse. So it's OK that it's not here. Let's click done. So that saves your specific setting for the keyboard. Next, let's head over to the mouse. So that's map. And we also want to make a game specific configuration for it. Make game config. And the left button is now configured to the trigger from the global setting, so we don't need to change that. But the right button is not the reload button in this game. So we need to set that to the reload system button here. So map and then right click. And automatically it's deleted from here. And this is all we need for the map because the rest of the buttons were configured on your keyboard earlier. So that's done and done. Let's exit for now. Alt F4 to exit the emulator. And just to show you, go Ninja. We now have two configuration files for the default mouse and the keyboard. Let's close that. And let's start the game.
Now this is where it's a bit different for Namco games. You have to enter the test mode after the Naomi Bio screen. So from here, you can press F2, which was our mapping earlier. And this is where we can press the up and down arrow keys to move across the options. Whereas in other games, you usually use the switch key. So to enter an option, you need to press the return key, which we also mapped earlier. And nothing to change here. So let's exit. And IO test is where you get to calibrate your gun. In this case, our mouse. Gun initialize. And initialize the first player. So what we want is shoot at the screen to check gun accuracy. So let's just target that at the center. And press enter. Press it here again. And then aim here again. And let's try that one more. And as you can see, the gun marks are now at the correct places. So to exit that calibration, we press up and then the enter key. Exit. And exit. Coin options. Free play, we turn that on. So we press enter. Down. Enter again. Exit. And others. We can enable the pause mode here. So that means when you press the, the start button, which is your middle button, we can pause the game. So just a little addition. Exit. And from here, we can exit by pressing the test key again, which is F2. Press start. Aim is good. Reload is right click. That's it. That's all I wanted to show. Thanks for watching.